All right guys, hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're gonna be covering how to work with markers. So these are pretty simple, but we're just gonna go through them. So there's two types of markers that you can use. There's either compositional markers that will go on top of your entire timeline right here. And then you have markers that can go on your layers. And we're gonna look at both. And we're first gonna start with the composition markers. So the way to create them is you can either simply go over here and then you can click and a marker will be created or you can simply click and drag and notice that another marker comes on to the page and notice that they have numbers so you have one two and then it goes to three four five and so on now if you want to delete these you can right click on them and you can select delete this marker or you can press control and it will be deleted right here. And if I press control again, I'll delete this and this. Now notice what happens when I add another marker. So I'll go right here. Notice that it starts at one and then it goes to two again and then three. So you see that After Effects is really trying to be numerical with this. It doesn't let you continue after six with seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now if there's missing markers in the beginning, it will go and add a marker at that spot. Now there's also a way that you can jump to your markers. So say if my playhead was at the end and I was to right click on this marker too, I can select go to marker time and see that it jumps. So this is a quick way to move into your composition. You could also just grab your playhead right here and then press shift and then it would snap to your marker. Now if I right click on this, on my first marker, you'll see that we have more options. So we have settings, which we will look at. You have go to marker time, which we just saw. You can delete the marker and you can delete all markers. You can lock the markers and you can enable the protected region. We made a whole video on that on responsive design and I'll put that in the description. So if I lock the marker, notice that it won't move. So that's how that works. I'll unlock it now. And if I go to my settings, notice that we have the time. So this is where the marker is at. If I was to say, make this zero, it would appear in the beginning. Notice how it jumps. And also to open up your settings, you can just double click on your marker. So I'll do that now. I have duration, so how long the marker is going to be. I'll make this say two seconds, and then I can give it a comment if I want. So I'll call it first marker and you can change the label so so we'll make this say cyan press ok and now notice that I have my marker with the comment down here and then the duration of the marker is two seconds long so we see it right here and if you want to adjust this you can just move it like this to where you want it to be and if you want to move the marker you don't click on your comment right here you have to click on this first part and then you can move it. So that's how you can work with compositional markers. All right guys, now there's one other way to create these compositional markers. And that is to simply go on your timeline and then hold down shift and then press on the number pad above your letters. So shift one, shift two, shift three, shift four, shift five, and so on. All right, now if your markers for the one, two, and three didn't show up, you're gonna have to go up to your preferences. So edit, preferences, and then you're gonna go down to 3D. And then you have to make sure that this box is unselected, the use one, two, three for navigation. So uncheck that and then you will be able to make the one, two, three markers. All right guys, and one more way to make a marker is to simply go up to your layer go up to markers and then select add marker. And now a compositional marker has been added. And if we had the layer selected, it would have added a layer marker. And we will look at layer markers right now. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've deleted all of my composition markers. And I wanna show you how you can add markers to your actual layers. So if I go down to my layer right here and I press star on my number pad, notice that a marker is created. 
And these markers here don't have the numbers like the composition markers had. And if you want to edit these, you just double click on them and you can make your edits right here. You can add comments to them if you want. So comment and they work pretty much the same as our composition markers. Press OK. So that is how the layer markers work. Now what I'm going to show you last is how you can use these markers with say like an audio file. So I have this music that I brought in and I'm going to delete these markers here. So right click and delete all markers. And I'm going to open up the waveform down here. So I see the waveform and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it back and when I hear the beat, I'm going to add a marker with my star and I'm going to make these composition markers. So I'm going to click off here so that I don't make a layer marker and I will play it back now. Alright, so that's just a quick example of how to use markers to actually mark out your music. And this first one here I got off a little bit, but if I just drag it over, it's like right here, it should be good. So I hope that you learned a lot in this video about markers and how to use them and that you will give it a shot. And we will see you in the next tutorial. Until next time.